A lot of people would say that one of my biggest problems was I didn't just race. I went out there to race, to win, to decimate the opposition, to take control of their minds for the next race. I think I was about the age of eight when I worked out that you could actually play sport and that was a career. I always look back on my Wesley years as really, really important to what I became as an athlete. You know, Wesley's got a full sport program, so I was always going to be exposed to sport here. I started running for Australia, I think, the year I left school or maybe the following year. The jump from junior to senior athletics is, is quite a big jump if you want to actually make an impact. And I just saw a triathlon with Dad and I said, well, what's that? He said, oh, it's you swim and you bike and you run. I said, oh, how hard can that be? So we went down to Elwood. I lost about seven minutes in a 700 metre swim, which is pretty much the time it takes to swim that. Got on the bike, just rode flat out. Every time I ran past a girl, I said, oh, are you winning? And she said, no. So I'd, finally I found the girl that was winning and I said, are you winning? She said, yeah. And I said, oh. So I went past her and I won. It's just a local race, um, but my father's very open-minded and I always, you know, took on his ideas and we worked out on paper that if I learnt to swim, I was the best triathlete in the world by a couple of minutes. So we had this crazy idea. He said, look, you've got to make the Australian team. You can't just go to a world championship. So we'll get some coach. We'll hone your skills on the bike because you can ride pretty well. You know you can run well. And then go overseas as a world championship in New Zealand in 18 months' time. Just, just go and win it. And I won the world title by over two minutes. Transition, Emma Carney, the quartet of Australians, Carney strides out. And for the first time in its competition, Carney senses that the time... If I hadn't gone on, people would have said, oh, that's the biggest fluke known to sport in the history of sporting flukes. In the third lap, Emma Carney, who appeared to be struggling in the run, shocked everyone by pulling out due to illness. I stopped winning in 98 and it was, I didn't really tell anyone why, but I was feeling very dizzy and fatigued and tired. And um, I'd actually been developing a heart condition. I had a cardiac arrest and I've now got a defibrillator in my chest when your heart's failing, um, it's quite difficult to do in an endurance sport. So being diagnosed with that, right, you've got a heart condition, you've got to stop, and you need to stop now, that is um, quite a disastrous way to, to end a sporting career. Shortly after um, you know, being diagnosed with a heart condition, um, my older sister Jane was diagnosed with cancer and um, from diagnosis to death was five months. It's so a very, very quick, very, very um, horrific. How that comes back to Wesley is that um, when Jane died, I rang Wesley and um, I went straight through to, um, to Helen's office. And she said, Emma, we've heard, we've got all the flags flying at Wesley, every single campus um, around the country, half mast and if your family will let us, we'd like to run the funeral. So Wesley was um, just unbelievable at that point. You, you don't just go to Wesley to be educated, you go to Wesley to be part of a community that you have for life. And, um, you know, I'll never forget what Wesley did there. Helen sat me down and said, you know, what are you doing with yourself? Um, invited me back to coach. Um, so just such a supportive environment that you'll always have back up with. I look back at all my time at Wesley with fondness. Education is the greatest privilege you can give your, your children. And um, I'm very, very proud of my Wesley education. I'm very, very proud of um, everything it taught me. I don't think success comes overnight. You know, I know that um, my son Jack he can look at me and say, oh, I wouldn't mind being world champion. And it's not ridiculous, because his mum was. Is that you, mum? Yeah, a long time ago. Wow. Life is so different now. I think there's a really good saying down in the junior school here at St Kilda Road. Um, we're educating students now for jobs that don't exist yet. He's being prepared for a world that's not going to be the same as what it is now. 
And so he can change, adapt, he can um, think on his feet. And I think that's what an education is about. It's not about getting the, the best marks, it's about being shown how to prepare for life. It's such a gifted life to be an athlete and race at the highest level and race for Australia. But every now and then something in your life makes you realise and brings you back to that core beginning of your life, which, which was Wesley.